So what we do at this point, let's do this. Climb up the side of the trailer. Just get kind of enough. Um, hopefully you can hear me all right. Pour it in a little bit like that. Then lift it and let it go across. Take that on, turn it on, select crop, so barley, and then we want the moisture, so um, yeah, we'll just let it do its thing at the moment. And here we've got the fields, we've got the how the trailer, so whether it's full, three quarters, and then the moisture, so 13.8, that's reading. And it's as simple as that. Pour that into the bucket. Turn it off, lift this out. There we go. Put it back from Matt so he doesn't complain. Spot on. Right, then just have a look at best place to tip. So, to be fair, probably somewhere in the middle. Back in. Just ignore that. I should come back. Yeah. So yeah, in terms of reversing, it probably looks really dark on camera, but it's not too bad in real life. Um, so just back up to where I kind of see fit feel it when you hit the pile in terms of going forward again you can see it says back flick it across um, holding the button at the back and it'll go forward uh, to unlock the hydraulics or lock them this little one there and then I've got it set on here so so all I'm doing is pressing that button lift it off got the tailboard tailgate uh, set on this one um, there's a safety thing so you can't lift the tailgate when the body's completely down, obviously, so you don't open it on the road if you unlock the hydraulics. Um, quite clever. But most most grain trailers are like that now, to be fair. Um, these are Richard Larrington's. So yeah, not quite sure how much you'll see of this. But just tip it up. Go fairly high in here. Obviously, always be careful of the roof. And then just creeping forward try to keep it in a pile as much as possible um, but when the sheds quite low it's not too bad in here <laughs> there's worse sheds but yeah don't really want to bring the shed down so make sure I'm well under that um, we're empty anyway so yeah, drop the body again, just using, I'm just holding this. Bring the body down. But yeah, these fence are really lovely. Um, we talked through the menu at a different time. Different, you know, there's quite a lot to learn and there's a lot a lot to learn for me. Um, you can drive them either on, either on the pedal, so that's what I'm doing now. I really, for me, especially on the road, just don't like driving them with this. You can drive them on this just by pushing forward. Um, the New Holland I drove, that is on some of my videos, well one of my videos before, from up in the east, Didn't, drove it a little bit on the stick and was not a fan of that. Um, so yeah, once I've dropped the body, everything's down, lock the hydraulics and then you press all this, nothing's going to happen, so um, just keeps it nice and safe draw out the shed and then at the moment we're pushing up our loads of barley there's enough time in between um, part of the reason why kind of two of us are carting so I know I shouldn't get out of tractor like that that's why I got out weird the first time because I was doing it wrong well wrong by health and safety so yeah Manitou MLT 634 PS Again, not sure how much you're going to see of this because it's probably quite dark. 
but what I'm going to do is just push up that load. So yeah, foot on the brake. It starts beeping at you. Flick the switch. Um, in terms of kind of control of the boom, it's all on this what they call the snail, or they probably call it something else, but I call it a snail because it looks like a snail. Flick it into forward and reverse on this. Um, and then, yeah, boom in and out is on this little scroll wheel here. So. Gonna try our best to. I mean, this barley is actually going out on the weekend anyway, so it's not a massive issue. Um, but obviously, it's better to just get it heaped up as nicely as we can. So, it's about six meters, so there you go, that's the full reach. And then just bring it back in on the scroll wheel. I mean, I've driven quite a few different kind of types of um, Taliandler and material load. And uh, Manitou's personally kind of, I'd say, a fairly kind of average. There's definitely, I don't know, there's definitely, they're definitely quite a nice drive. And this, this is a 64 plate. Um, Farm's got a, I think it's a 17 plate, or I'm pretty sure it's a 17 plate. It's completely different. Well, it's not completely different. It's the same kind of base. Um, But they've kind of designed it a little, little bit more nicely as buttons rather than kind of, yeah, I don't know. It's nice, but I've driven a class Scorpion, which are, I think they're the Kramers now. Um, and that was, yeah, to be fair, that was no complaints at that, so. So yeah, forward and back is, again, don't know how well you can see, but this little red panel, so as soon as I click it, it's as simple as that. Changing gears and stuff will leave for another time. Um, it's just these two buttons there, it's fairly simple. But I'll show you kind of, at the moment, I'm staying in third, third range or third gear, because there's just no point in changing it. do to be fair because there's one more load coming in here and that's it and then it, like I say it's going out in uh, kind of three days time so it'll sit quite nicely in here Let's reverse it get out of the way of the door so no one kind of goes into it check the handbrake on Pack it down So yeah, that's that basically. And then, um, really nice place. This is, it. I'm in Herefordshire at the moment. And shall be for quite a while, I imagine. So, uh, plenty more to come. So please, yeah, like, comment and subscribe. I'm gonna head back to the combine. I think I'm going to hop on the header trailer. Uh, take that down the road with the combine behind me, so I might video that and I might um, But yeah, that was the basics of kind of just carting the grain tipping it um, The very basics of driving a fen. I mean if you want more detail then let me know I know there's other videos out there that people have done But I'm happy to if it's something that people would be interested in then um, Just explaining That's BMW up there But yeah, I mean, it's kind of really is a joy to drive. It's simple as put my foot down and off we go. Um, again, you see it, get this up to about 54K, which uh, is a fair speed, quick enough. So, especially with these loaded as well, you, you wouldn't want to go any quicker until you step up and get in a fast track. I've never driven one, but <laughs> we'll be quite interested to drive one. 
So uh, yeah, anyway, thank you very much for joining and look forward to seeing you in another video. Cheers and goodbye.